Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Justin here for a impromptu Reels on Wheels. It's uh, Thursday night, and I'm going to see a screening of one of my most anticipated movies of the year, Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut for Creed 3, or as I've been lovingly calling it, Threed. <laughs> I was going to bet on myself if I was going to punch the camera, and I did. I'm ashamed. <laughs> so some things of note for this movie. It is the third in the Creed franchise, the ninth film, I believe, in the overall Rocky saga. And it's the first film that doesn't have the character of Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone has no ties to this movie. I, he is a producer, but he's not an EP on it. And he has really no involvement, and there's like a whole backstory about why, uh, which is unfortunate. But I'm still excited because I love the Creed movies. I think they're really well done. They tell a really compelling story, and it's a really cool way to move on from a legacy character and build something new. So I'm super hyped, and I can't wait to see it, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think when we come back. I really want to punch the camera again, so I'm going to do it. Okay, that felt good. <laughs> All right, see ya. All right, I just got back from seeing Creed 3, Threed, and no joke, it, it delivered. Like, no notes, it's so good. The characters are really well written and really well developed. Uh, let's talk Jonathan Majors who is killing it right now. I think probably the only other actor who's in the pop culture zeitgeist on par with him is Pedro Pascal. Jonathan Majors is incredible. He's, kind, he's pretty scary uh, as the film's antagonist, but you know, he's got a chip on his shoulder and you kind of feel sorry for him. But the way that relationship plays out between Adonis and Damien is so good. A really solid first movie for Michael B. Jordan as a director. He put some really interesting things in the movie in terms of the boxing sequences. You know, he said that he's been inspired by anime. And there's <laughs> there's some next level anime type of boxing in, in Creed 3. And like when I first heard that, I'm like, that that can't really translate well to live action, but it does. It, it's really thrilling. And that last boxing sequence, um, the, the final fight is really, really good. I love what they've done with these characters and how they've sort of pulled them from the Rocky franchise and created something entirely new and fresh. When the movie started, I just had a big smile on my face and I think it's because over the last two movies I've really grown to love these characters and what they've done with them. It continues to develop these relationships, make them a little more complex, a little more nuanced and interesting. There is a really great um, daddy-daughter dynamic between Adonis and a now older Amara and all their conversations. Um, are really heartwarming and sweet and you know they use American Sign Language they use ASL throughout the whole movie and it's just so good so that is a big recommendation for me for Creed 3 it is a reels definitely go see it I didn't get to see it in IMAX so I'm actually going to go back and see it in IMAX sometime because I want to see it on the biggest screen possible and like with the like the best sound because those fight sequences are awesome and man jonathan majors is crazy <laughs> his fighting style is very unorthodox like the way he blocks too looks like a video game character like he's just blocking like this i thought it was really interesting and sort of the way he moved on camera if you think about it like shapes moving in the space he made some really interesting shapes with his body during those boxing sequences. So see it to believe it. It is a huge recommendation for Creed 3. For Reels on Wheels, this has been Justin. And I will see you on the next movie. Um, you know, this was kind of very spontaneous, but uh, I hope you enjoyed my review. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!
Rocky, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4, Rocky 5, Rocky Balboa, Creed, Creed 2. So it is the ninth um, film in the Rocky franchise.